Thomas Stearns Elliott Thomas Stearns Elliott was born in St. Louis, Missouri, United States, on September 26, 1888. He comes from a family in his town, a businessman, and a poet. Elliot was known as an intelligent person, so he was educated in some of the world's best schools, such as Harvard, Sorbonne, and Oxford. Then, he decided to settle in London in 1915, and chose to become a British citizen in 1927. Thomas Stearns Elliot, better known as T.S. Eliot, was an American poet who is often cited as the poet of the 20th century. He studied Latin at the Smith Academy from 1898 to 1905. In 1905, he published his early works, such as the first A Fable for Feasters and several other works such as the song The Harvard Advocate, the short story Birds of Prey and A Tale of a Whale. Prior to taking philosophy education at Harvard, Eliot studied at Milton Academy for a year where he met Schofield Thayer. He attended Harvard from 1906 to 1909. Then he worked as a philosophy assistant at Harvard for two years until 1910, he moved to Paris and studied philosophy at the Sorbonne. In 1911, he returned to Harvard to study Indian philosophy and Sanskrit. In 1914, he received a scholarship from Merton College, Oxford. He successfully completed his doctoral education in 1916. Around the years 1915 to 1919, Eliot pursued various types of professions, ranging from teacher, bank employee, and assistant editor of the literary magazine, The Egoist. Since childhood, Eliot has been interested in the world of literature, especially writing poetry like his mother. T.S.S. first collection of poems Eliot in 1917, entitled Proofrock and Other Observations, contained free rhyming poems using modern parables which were quite different from other works of the time. His works try to describe people's lives in big cities with various problems. He also often used contemporary language and imagery, which at that time was not commonly used by any reader when writing his poetry. In a poem entitled The Wasteland in 1922, Eliot gave a description of the sterility of modern society which is different from the societies of the past. His long poem became one of the works that bridged the entry of modernism by poets. In the 1920s, Eliot expanded his views to various subjects such as culture, and religion. In his collection of 1920 essays, The Sacred Wood, he argued that literary critics must have a strong sense of history in order for them to be able to judge literary works from multiple perspectives and thus avoid the unnecessary. The writer also believes that every poem must be able to see the surrounding environment to avoid subjectivity to creation. Apart from being the founder and editor of the Criterion magazine, 1922-1939, Eliot was also instrumental in establishing a literary forum, which will be filled by well-known contemporary writers. He is considered a pioneer for the modern movement in English poetry. Cocktail Party by T.S. Eliot, Photo, Wikimedia Commons The Best Work of T.S. Eliot, according to some critics, was entitled Four Quartets, which was published in 1943. During the 1930s, Eliot commended each experience with parable language and grappled with major themes such as the meaning of time and redemption. Not only that, he is also known as a playwright, who was successful with his first work, The Cocktail Party in 1949. His work contains those that explore the meaning of salvation.
After that, he wrote several other plays, the most famous of which was Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, 1939. His play is a nursery rhyme book for children. In 1922, he created a literary journal entitled The Criterion. In 1925, Elliot joined a publishing company called Faber and Guire. Then, he decided to settle in London in 1915, and chose to become a British citizen in 1927. Throughout the late 1920s and 1930s, Elliot continued to write and teach in England and America. Not only works in the field of poetry, T.S. Eliot also works in the fields of drama and literary criticism.